Hello and welcome. Today's video I want to demonstrate how to use the Tumtek FST 83A. First, we'll prepare the fiber. With the dry hole stripper provided in the kit, remove approximately 30 centimeters of the outer jacket. We then proceed to remove the coating buffer of the fiberglass by gently sliding down the core. Use a Kim wipe or any other lint-free wipe to clean the remains of the coating buffer by rubbing down a little bit of isopropyl. Carefully place down the fiber in the groove of the cleaver. Make sure the end of the fiber jacket is in between number 10 and number 15. Press down the lid the cleaver and remove the fiber. And you just need to do the same process again with the other fiber. To install the battery, simply insert it on the side of the splicer. To test the battery, just press the button on the side of the battery. Five LEDs mean full charge. To turn the unit on, just press the power button for a couple seconds. And to turn it off, simply do the same thing. To remove the battery, press the release button on the side of the splicer and pull the battery from the other side. Now, on to splicing. We want to place the cleave fibers on each side of the V-grooves. We want to ensure the end of the fiber is in between the V-groove and the electrode. Alright, let's look at it again. Place down the fiber on the V-groove, in between the groove and the electrode, and gently drop down the clamp. For the actual splice, Gently close the hood of the splicer and the machine should automatically go to work. Last step is to carefully slide the protector sleeve on the splice and move it into the oven which will automatically start as soon as the fiber is inserted and the door is shut. The LED will turn red while the heater is active. Once complete, remove the fiber from the oven and place it into the cooling tray. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for more training videos from TMG Test Equipment.